Got him. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, my oh, get him in the boat, Ev. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, get him. Number five, Evan. Number five. Come on. Oh, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a freaking tank, dude. What is going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode. Today's video is going to be another tournament fishing episode. So, if you guys like the tournaments, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. We post every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. So, a ton of videos going up on the channel, but I'm not going to make you guys wait. We're going to jump right into the video. So, stick around. Stay tuned. Be catching pretty good. And uh, hope you guys enjoy the video. Two minute idle, let's go boys. Making our way to the first spot. Gonna be looking for five big old bass today trying to get this dub. Okay, first spot of the day. We are flipping docks all day long, boys and girls. We are swinging for the fences. So it does have a decent little deep bite going on, but I don't think that we're gonna mess with that at all. Straight jig and wacky worm under all these docks. So if we do get bit, it should be a big one. So it does have quite a bit of like two and a half to four pounders in it. So that's kind of the goal today. Get a couple four pounders in the boat, you know? Got one? Go one? Sounds pretty good, dude. Keep him pinned up. Keep him pinned up, Evan. Keep him pinned up. That was on that flick shake? Yeah, flick shake. Heck yeah, dude. Keep her pinned. Let's go. Evan's got the first one of the day. Oh, it's a, it's a little smally. Oh, careful, dude. Careful, careful, careful. It's a little largey. It's a largey. Get her in here. Get her in here, bud. Get her in here. Come on, man. I think that's going to keep. I thought it was a lot bigger when he first set hook, but... That might be a nice little keeper for us. Here, you pull her out. Let me get the bump board real quick. Yeah. Here we go. Yeah, just pull us off these docks for a second here. Evan just got our first one of the day. We're about 30 minutes in. Gonna make sure. Oh yeah. yeah. Not a not a big one. Barely over 14, but that is a keeper bass right there on that flick shake. If you guys want to check out that ego bump board too, hopefully we're gonna be using that a lot today. Bumping a bunch of fish up and getting a limit in the boat quick. But first one. Nice little 14 and a quarter incher for Evan there. Get her in the live well. Let's go. Always feels good to get the first one in the boat. Right now, Evan's throwing that flick shake and I'm throwing that jig, trying to get a slightly bigger bite, but 30 minutes in, one bass in the live well. Got him. Oh, it's a good one, dude. Oh, my oh get him in the boat, Ev. Get him in the boat, Ev. That's what I'm That's talking about. What? That's what I'm talking about, boys. That thing ate way off the dock. That's keeper number two in the box. Probably like five minutes after that one that Evan just caught. Smoked the old freaking Guggen jig. I think I'm throwing the juicy jig right there. Hold up, buddy. Hold up, hold up, hold up. That is a thick bass on that juicy jig. Probably close to three pounds, give or take. Heck yes. That's what we needed, Evan. We need five just like that one right there. Oh yeah, buddy. Yeah, <clears throat> that hit that hit out here though. That yeah, hit out that here. Yeah. I worked that one out, which I don't know if he followed it out from okay. the dock or if he uh, was just sitting offshore or what. But I don't know if you guys saw that, but that fish didn't eat until about right there. As soon as you smoked, I knew. Yeah, oh I said hook and my love line was screaming. I knew it was gonna be a decent one at least. Got one? Oh god. Good one, Evan? Oh Evan's got a big one. Evan's got a big one. Evan's got a big one on, dude. Evan's got a freaking big one. Come on, buddy. Get this one in here. Dude, this is giant, it's a giant? Yeah. Get him, Ev. Get him, Ev. Oh, buddy. Dude, oh, yeah. Oh, my God. It's a freaking tank, dude. dude it it's a tank. It's a tank, dude. Terrible. Come on, Ev. No Keep him pinned. Keep him pinned. He's barely hooked. Keep him pinned. Keep him pinned. That freaking extendo knot, baby. That Ego S2 slider. Uh, is that just straight on a T rig? Yeah. Oh, yeah. We got like two three plus pounders in the boat. Let's go. That's an easy three plus right yeah. there, dude. Oh, oh Evan, barely barely hooked, barely hooked in the bottom of the that, mouth. That was oh, he was way out. Yeah, there that was a full freaking length cast right there. Probably three and a half pounder, dude. Good shot. Let's yeah, go. dude. Fish was, number yeah. three, boys. Fish number three in the box. It has been very slow, but we just got number three. Thanks to Evie. Thanks to old Evie, baby. Yeah, nice one. Now we got two really nice fish, guys, and then we have that one little one that I've been caught too. So. We need to get at least two more bites, and then we got to work on getting rid of that first one that Evan caught. But we are on a roll, guys. This lake has been fishing really, really bad. So if we can get a limit, and especially with those fish that we got in the live well right now, we're going to have a chance at taking this dub. We need to get two more bites, two more bites, two more bites, and we're going to have a very good chance at winning this tournament, guys. Got him. Yep, net, net, net. 
In the net, in the net, in the net. I should have just boat flipped that one. It's all good though, it's all good. That was my B. That was my B. Another solid keeper. That thing bit so softly that I don't know if you guys in the video saw, but I did a very strange hook set because I was questioning whether or not it was a bite, but. You got him. Evan and I, yeah, we got him in the boat. Little crusty net job, but that was more my fault than Evan's and uh, we got him in the boat, so it's all good. But we have got four bass. We've got two really solid ones. This one's not bad. It's probably about, about a two pounder, a little bit less maybe. And uh, we need to get one more bite though. We have about an hour and a half left. We've got four bass in the box. We need to get one more bite and we are gonna have a very good shot at winning this tournament, guys. One more, I told Evan, literally. So Evan caught the first one that I caught like that solid three pounder. And I told him, I was like, yo, you catch the next one then I'll get one right after you. And that's literally exactly what happened too. I was like, bro, you get the next one and then I'll clean up another one right after. And psh, that's exactly what we wanted to see happen right there. Do you know not a single one of our bass have ate underneath the docks? Yeah, they have man. Not a single one, dude. The one I skipped underneath, but I dragged it like five foot off and that's when I ate. Okay. That last one I flipped in front of like the boat lift thing under there. Yeah. So it was like out in front. Your big one, you caught out on yeah. the side of the dock and then your flick shake one was on the side yeah, too. He was. All four have been not under the dock at all. Really? Yeah, that's crazy. I just noticed that. I was just thinking about that. Nothing is ate under the docks at all. Got him? Yeah. Yes, dude. That's good. Oh, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, that's a good one. Yeah. Oh, get him. Yeah, number five, Evan. Number that's five. Come on. Go. Come on, buddy. Oh, that's a, good that's one. a nice one. Come on. Get him. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah, dude. We got a freaking bag Let's now. Go, dude, dude, we got to get rid of your one now. Yeah. yeah you take him. Toss him in there. We got we got to get Look rid of Evans, dude. Another like two two and a half pounder at least. Off the D bus. Oh, son! The... Right off the side right of the dock right. again. Right off the side of the dock right again, the side. dude. Awesome. Two and a half pounder. Oh yes, yeah, son. Yeah, dude. Oh boys, we've got one little like fourteen and a quarter inch or that first one that Evan caught. That fish needs to go, and then it's definitely, it, like, we're going to have a very good chance at winning. Right now, we got a shot. Like, this lake's been fishing tough from what everyone said. I mean, maybe it did turn up a little bit, so people might be catching them, but we've got a shot right now with taking the dub, but if we get rid of that one real tiny squeaker fish, I think we're going to have a really good shot. If we get rid of that one, then we're going to be pushing that, like, 14-plus pound bag, guys. And that usually will win on a good day out here, so... 14, 16 pounds. That's what we're looking for. One more two to three pound plus fish, and we're going to be set. Yeah. Uh, got my tails. Probably a rock bass. Got it. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna help or not. It might help, dude. That might help. Oh yeah. That might help right there. Yeah, I think so. That's probably 14 and a half. I skipped up underneath there, ripped off the claws, flipped it right back in there. Got that fish. So this one's 1.56. Yeah, 1.45. So a little like quarter pound coal. Tenth of a pound coal, I don't even know, but going back in, that first one that we caught, first coal of the day. We've got six keepers in the boat. Okay, we need to get rid of that one though. That's gonna be our smallest fish, so a little 1.56. Next one to go. Boys, we turned off the freaking camera. I'm such a stupid idiot. We've got like 10 minutes left and I just freaking gassed up like a two and a quarter pound smallmouth on a top water too, and you guys missed it. I'm a I'm such a freaking idiot. We just called out that little one and a half pounder with a solid smallmouth. We legit have like less than 10 minutes left here to fish. And uh, yeah, that was keeper number seven. Nice, solid smallmouth. I can't believe it. I literally just looked down. And I was like, oh, the camera's off. God bless it. That was so cool. I wish you guys got to see that. <laughs> Didn't they miss out? It was crazy. <laughs> it was crazy, dude. He had it choked. It was down his throat. Just throwing this popper off this break wall. It was like first pop and she just went, Foof! slurped it up oh i can't believe it. i'm so sorry guys i can't believe i wasn't recording sadly like i mentioned guys we did not get that very last catch of the day usually i'm really really good about getting everything on camera but right at the end of the day there we were bouncing around from spot to spot to spot move spots forgot to hit that record button and we pulled up and i smoked that smallmouth on a popper right off that break wall but that was the last blow up that we got in the day we head back into the way to see where we're gonna end up in this tournament guys yeah it's a small one Okay, this is the smallmouth that you guys did not get to see. Got everything else on camera, but we missed that last blow up. And then last but not least, we've got Evan's three and three quarter pounder right there. Leave the cold tag on, just so we know which one's big. Billy and Evan? Yeah. Yes. I better start seeing some of your damn videos. Go check them out. Yeah, we filmed all day today. 392s are big ones. You're like a regular professional. It's 
going good this year, I'm telling you. <laughs> 14.35. That is gonna be it for today's video, guys. We ended up in first place, we got big bass, so it was a really, really fun day in the water. We also caught a pretty decent bag, a little bit over 14 pounds, and uh, if you guys watch the channel, a lot of the tournaments that I fish, the lakes by me just aren't that good. We don't catch a lot of big fish around here. Uh, I've won several tournaments this year with like nine, 10 pounds, so when you catch 14 pounds and you get a dub, you cannot complain. Caught a couple nice three plus pounders and uh, blasted that smallmouth on top water, which was probably the, the most fun fish that I caught that day, but thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Like I said, a lot more tournament videos on the way, so if you guys are not subscribed, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button, but I will catch you guys in the next one.